There are more than 450 species of birds that live in North Carolina's fields, forests, beaches, farmland, and urban areas. Over 56 of these species use the woods and forests bordering waterways to raise their young. But how many birds are out there, and which populations are declining? The North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission is responsible for the conservation and protection of our state's diverse wildlife, including birds. The first step is to identify which species are declining or even in danger of disappearing. But how do we know how many are left and which habitats are important to conserve? Traditionally, bird surveys are road-based. Each year, skilled volunteers get up before dawn drive predetermined routes, and record all the birds that they see and hear as part of a national breeding bird survey. This program has yielded 50 years worth of data, which allows us to estimate whether bird populations are rising or declining. That tells us a lot about birds that live in habitats along roads, but not about those that live in habitats along rivers and streams. To fill this knowledge gap, Commissioned biologists and volunteers began canoeing North Carolina's rivers and streams, recording as many birds as possible in the adjacent forests. Their goal, to survey a representative sample of the entire Piedmont and coastal plain. With the help of many volunteers, biologists have covered over 745 miles of stream so far, detecting over 10,000 birds in the process. So the Wildlife Resources Commission uses a lot of volunteers on these surveys. It allows our biologists to cover a lot more river miles than we would otherwise be able to do. And it's a unique experience for the volunteer too. You can see a lot from a canoe that you would never see from a trail or a park. Many of the bird species like to hang out along these steep banks and are much harder to see if you're not in a, on the river itself. We often get to see some cool species that aren't birds, like uh, deer and beaver and muskrat, and sometimes even river otters. So it's a win-win situation for, for both of us. These habitats are hidden gems of our state's Piedmont and coastal plain. They support a variety of species not found elsewhere. Initial findings reveal hot spots that support multiple bird species as well as areas where some have already disappeared. This information will prove invaluable when making informed decisions about where to spend future conservation dollars. How many birds are out there and what habitats do they use? Simple questions without easy answers. The North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission and partners catalog altered habitats and identify areas where the ecosystem is intact. Knowledge of natural systems helps agencies like the Commission prioritize conservation efforts and help better understand the relationship of humans in the ecosystem.